Hello everyone and welcome back to our kitchen. This is Dr. Chef. Today we are going to make a really traditional recipe from south of Italy, Neapolitan ragù. Neapolitan ragù is one of the two most famous meat sauce in all Italy, together with ragù alla bolognese. Let's see our ingredient. We have to consider the fact that there is not only one original uh, Neapolitan ragù recipe, since uh, every family, in Napoli at least, have their own recipe. So I'm doing uh, my recipe with the ingredients that I can find here, and they are onions, basil, ham, tomato sauce, olive oil, wine, red wine, salt, pepper, and beef meat, pork meat, and also veal. So, and it's not important the size or the cut. You see, they are just like cut like that, casually. It's not important. These are uh, not even cut, so it's okay like this. So we start inserting our onion, ham and olive oil. And since the amount of meat and the amount of sauce that we are going to use, uh, it's about uh, one and a half kilo, something like that, we need a real big pot. We turn on the fire. Okay, like this. And we wait our onion to become gold. So as you can see our soffritto is going, we can start adding the pieces of meat. We start from the big one. Let's put them all in contact with the oil. We are going to turn them. So as you can see, we have to turn them. to make sure that all the pieces are going to be cooked from the external part. At this point that our uh, meat is uh, cooked externally, we can add our uh, red wine. We turn on the flame a little bit because we want the alcohol to evaporate. Che minchia è successo? Eccellente. So, our alcohol evaporated. We keep mixing a little. And we are ready to add our tomato sauce. We have uh, about uh, one kilo and something of tomato sauce. Now we inserted uh, one kilo and uh, 200, 300 of tomato sauce. Now the half of that amount we have to add water. So we go. Okay. 
So what we do now, we turn off the flame and we move our pot on the smallest flame. We turn on the fire, but really, really low. See, all the meat is covered by the tomato sauce. What we do now, we just put a cover. Keeping some space. So, after a couple of hours, our ragu is uh, in this situation. You can see, sta pippiando from the verb to pippiare. And uh, we can add the salt. And we mix. So this is after three hours of cooking. So it's a new day and our ragu is still on fire. We will let it cook uh, for at least other three or four hours. So the ragu is going, now we can insert our basil. And we mix it. So when I was talking about uh, pipiare, is this what I meant? This is the sound of love that we want to hear in this case. So after eight hours and something, this is the result that we obtain. As you can see, the smaller piece of meat, they flaked. While the bigger one are still uh, intact but they became really tender. So now we are ready to use our ragu for our pasta. So what I want you to show is that uh, the big piece of meat usually is the muscle of uh, the beef or of the pork or uh, whatever we decide to use. After eight hours it becomes very very tender. Look at that. It's breaking with no problem. You see? This is uh, wow. So what kind of pasta we can use for our ragu? It's okay, every kind of uh, rigatoni, paccheri, mezze maniche, uh, fusilli also, or long pasta like this, uh, tripoline, mafalde, and why not? If you like also spaghetti, it's not so common, but you can use. I'm going to use this ziti tagliati, which is a typical pasta from Napoli. And uh, let's see. So what is important, we have to wait our water to boil. But this is like basic uh, cooking skills. Everyone should know it. And since our water is boiling, we can put our pasta also another thing we don't need to insert any oil in the water some people on youtube do that but it's completely useless so our pasta has nine minutes of cooking time we are going to cook for about seven minutes in the water 
and then we are going to insert in a pan with the sauce and we continue the cooking in the sauce for the remaining two minutes. So we inserted our sauce in the pan, look at the color, we have some meat, some basil, sauce, everything together and we turn on the fire to warm it a little. So our pasta is ready, we are going to jump it. Next we are going to add some parmesan or pecorino if you prefer a stronger taste. This is what we obtain. So we added a little bit of sauce, some other parmesan and uh, some black pepper. Black pepper is not necessary but I like it, so that's it. So this was our recipe. If you liked the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel, share the videos with all your friends and follow us on Instagram where you can tag us if you want to replicate uh, our uh, recipes and show us your results. From Dr. Chef, that's all. Have fun, enjoy and please stay home.